Uh, last year, 2014, was pure. We're really great that we're out of the recession. We're, we're living again, we're breathing, but people were just starting to connect again with starting to do business. MIP in 2015 is about doing business this year. People are here with real screams, real opportunities. And I think that's the big sentiment change that I'm seeing. I think it's positive. I've felt you know, the conversations I've been in have been upbeat. They've been positive. They've been really confident around the great story that the UK has to tell as a place to come and invest in property. So I'm, I've, I think there's a really positive mood here. Optimistic, just like last year. Uh, I would say the confidence is has an air of caution behind it, partly due to the general election, partly because we are in a period, we've been here before, basically, and a lot of people are making reference to 2006, 2007, let's make sure we don't see the same downturn afterwards. And the mood is really strong. It's got the feeling of 2007, pre-crash, but people are still looking around to see, is there anything around the corner? And at the moment, nobody can see anything. Instead of just talking about transactions, they're saying here are the development opportunities, here are the transactions, and a still a huge weight of capital looking for opportunities. Definitely there is a weight of money, and definitely that's putting pressure on values, on prices, and competitive nature of uh, acquiring the right uh, sites. So. We can't see any particular risks occurring. We're looking for things like geopolitical risk, things, political risk, um, UK coming out of the Eurozone, those sorts of issues. The election in May, we're not, we don't think those issues are particularly serious if you're an overseas investor looking to come into a sterling-based real estate asset in London. The bigger worry is the macro issue, but you know, how do you plan for that? How do you plan for what uh, might happen between Russia and the West next? It's difficult to to go forward if you're worrying constantly about that. What tends to happen, ironically, is it brings more capital into the London market as a safe haven. So perversely, when there's trouble somewhere in the world, that safe haven money comes back into London. Well, you can probably tell by my voice that uh, I've been talking a lot for the last couple of days and this is just a fantastic place to meet people. I'm new to my job, I've been in two months, so it's a great, great place for me to meet many, many people in the industry and have a, have a good time as well. Yeah.